Why do we need to desalinate water? Salt water contains large amount of ions such as sodium and chloride, which makes it undrinkable. Separating those ions from water is called desalination. In this video, we will talk about nanotechnology-based method to desalinate water. But first, we'll discuss two conventional approaches to desalinate water and their drawbacks. In the first approach, heat is used to evaporate the water and collecting the vapor in a separate vessel for later use. Secondly, as we all experience in our day-to-day -day life, reverse osmosis uses a semi-permeable membrane and pressurizes water through it, leaving ions behind. However, these two methods require lots of energy, equipment cleaning, and have a limited lifetime, and hence are very costly. Alternatively, a new method which is grabbing industrial attention is to use abundantly available porous activated carbon and small amount of electrical energy. The activated carbon, which is available in the powdered form, is first converted into sheets and assembled into pairs, leaving some space in between for water to flow. One sheet of such a pair is then connected to the positive end of the power supply and the other to the negative end. In this way, ions are removed and stored into the sheets temporarily, producing clean water. Once sheets get full of such ions, power supply is cut off and ions come out, generating a small base stream. The most important aspect of this approach is to have materials which can store billions of such ions. For this reason, carbon nanomaterials, which have very high surface area, are attractive. For example, one gram of a carbon nanomaterial can cover several football fields. In this way, a small rectangular device is made, which can be fit anywhere and operated using very small amount of electrical energy to desalinate water using carbon nanomaterials.